Hey everybody, welcome back. It's time for another Shop My Stash. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the products that I had used for the previous week so we can get down to business. Okay, so I used this Through My Eyes I Love Sarah E and ColourPop palette. I actually enjoyed this palette a lot more than I thought I was going to. I had a chance to use most all of these. As you can see, I got into this one real hard. Look at that. This is like a really nice mustard color. I find these palettes to be really nice. This one is, I feel like a matte infused with glitter. Not a big fan of those ones. Those ones are not for me. Uh, the Mac and Aladdin collaboration in Princess Incognito. Perfect nude for everyone. It's like a nudie pink. Love it. Um, still love the Sephora collection rouge lipstick in number L29. That's a perfect color for the summer. Love it. And I used the Makeup Forever um, Aqua Lip in number 3C. I used it for every single lip color, whether it was bright, neutral, loved it for everyone. Um, my Sakura blush from MAC Love. If you guys have a chance to get your hands on this highlighter from the MAC Aladdin collection, definitely go ahead and get that one because that would be like a perfect opportunity to not miss that one. Okay, so that being said, let's go over here and get our put, put away on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put away the NARS lipstick that we got over here and the Sephora collection lip that we have over there. Um, what should we grab? What should we grab? Okay, let's grab one of these NARS pencils. We are going to grab this one in Tundra, I think is what it's called. MAC Velvet Matte Pencil in Tundra. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. That's how I'm pronouncing it. It might not be how I, it's pronounced, but that's how it's getting pronounced today. I'm gonna go in here. Let us grab, I kept, I saved all the boxes. I'm so weird. So Ravishing from MAC is being discontinued. So all of, like there's a bunch of lip products that are like $12 or less, I th think. This one was one of them. I loved this one back in the day when I tried it. It's like one of those perfect, really nice corally colors that make me look really nude and it's a cream sheen formula. I loved this, loved it. Oh, I have one, another one of these left to try from Sephora collection. Oh, interesting. Okay. So yeah, there's that. Um, what else do I want to do? So I haven't tried this Rihanna lip. Do I want to do that one? Ugh, I feel like that's so dark for summer though do something lighter for summer not that I have a lot of light lip liquid lipsticks but I like to I'm gonna do um smell this see if it still smells decent nope that doesn't smell good we're gonna get rid of these three which I said I was gonna do if I hadn't worn them okay so my lip I'm going to grab this lip color from YSL. This was a lip duo that was on the Sephora website. I just managed to see it and I loved the packaging that it came in. Okay. So this is what it looks like. So you, you guys can see it. So it's the YSL um, Volupe Shine. You got number 44 and number 12. This is number 12. It's a coral. Love it. So we got three lips. So we're going to do another. I want to do a glossy lip. So 
I'm going to do this um, Princess from Buxom Loss. I love that. And then I will do... What else gloss do I want to do? Let's do this Ultra Blotted Lip from ColourPop in Ocean Avenue. Nice, bright, and orange. Okay. We're going to go in the bottom drawer. We are going to put away, if I can find a spot to put it away, the MAC Aladdin one. There's really no spot for it. There's not an opening for it. Okay, I'm going to do this... Um, what is this? Superb MAC um, Extra Dimension Skin Finish. It's beautiful. It's like a nice, beautiful peachy gold. Like, See, I don't even need another highlighter. I have nowhere to put more highlighters. Nowhere. Actually, this one I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to wear this as a blush or an eyeshadow, the Kilowatt Foil. I'm going to try it as a highlighter first and see how it works out for me. No room in this inn. Okay. And there's a highlighter in the back over there. So let's grab a blush. Put my MAC one back. I put the this one over here as a blush now because it's just easier that way. Um, Let's go ahead and grab four blush. We are going to grab this hourglass ambient lighting blush in radiant magenta that's what she looks like isn't she pretty guys she is just like this nice um like just nice sheen she makes me look healthy okay so here she is okay so it's like a nice pink and then when you blend it all the way in she just goes really nice in like into your skin like she's so beautiful like let's see if i can do this with one hand I really need like eight hands to swatch. Okay, so that's what she looks like when she's blended into the skin. Like a nice pinky. Yep, she's going. She's going there. She's going there. I'm just going to leave this Fenty Beauty laying down like this for the time being till I like get myself under control here. These are my blushes. My blushes. Very Adore and Cocktail Party. My blush trio from Anastasia. Okay. And I think that should do it over there for what I'm going to grab for lip products. Okay, so I need to grab a palette. Um, I got a couple in here that I haven't used yet what's going on in here a couple highlighters and a blush oh okay let's go ahead and grab my palette um we're gonna go ahead and i just used this jouet ultra foil you guys knew i loved it um, let's grab some nine pans from ColourPop. I'm, I must be in a ColourPop kick this week because I just used that through my eyes from I Love Sarai. So, I'm going to grab this, um, Ooh La La ColourPop palette. It's like a, it's a, it's not like a, it's a nine pan pink palette. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. And I'm also going to grab, I think, I have four of them. I have Soul, I have Mar, and I have It's My Pleasure. I think I want to, actually, I've never used this Makeup Forever palette. Never. It's all shimmer, all the time. It's like the Makeup Forever, um, what is it called? Makeup Forever palette, nine artist pan shadow, never been used in the number volume two 
I think I'm going to use that instead because I've never used it. And I want to see. It's all shimmers, I think. They look like all shimmers. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use. Now, that being said, I should just grab a matte palette. And I have a couple that I could do. So what do you want to do? Okay, put the cover the through my eyes palette away. Okay, what I'm gonna do is go into my single shadow drawer. I'm gonna grab Toast from Bobbi Brown. I'm gonna grab Camel from Bobbi Brown. And then I'm also gonna grab Coco from Bobbi Brown. These are all single shadows. They're nice and matte, um, very beautiful colors. This one I used to set my primer. This one I can use on my outer V if I can open it up. This one I can see nice on the outer V um, just to open it up or even for a transition shade. And then one more. This is Camel. This was one of her most popular shades and she discontinued it. Then she brought it back. And I think now they've discontinued all their single eyeshadows because I haven't seen any. But I don't know for sure. Let's not speak out of turn. Okay. I think that should be all I need for this week. So the, here goes the palette in here on the bottom from Makeup Forever. The three Bobbi Brown eyeshadows in the side here. And then I put in my Anastasia Concealer in 5.0, my Smashbox Studio Skin in dark, and then this one is the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep. It is almost finished, you guys. Almost finished. I did try this Wet n Wild powder real quick because, you know, I couldn't get a lot of Laura Mercier out. I tried this cocoa. I don't know if I love it. I might have to, like, give it another shot. Actually, it's not bad. Actually, it's not bad. I just have to give it another shot. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. In this drawer, my Pearl Matte Face Powder from MAC, from the MAC Fruity Juicy Collection. I'm noticing, like, it's going down, so that's good. I use this to set, to finish my face, not as a setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and put my highlighter from MAC and Superb in there. That's actually a permanent one. And my Radiant Magenta from Hourglass in there as well. And my bronzers will remain the same. This is the Patrick Star Give Me Life powder from MAC. That's what it looks like. It hard pans a lot, you guys. So it was really pressed hard. So... I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I can see the fan. That's great. Um, this is the um, Barris Bronze from Estee Lauder or Estee Edit. I am trying to finish this one up and I am making good progress, I think. This is my Dr. Den Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Collagen Lip Cushion. I use this to prime my lips for lipstick for the day. I'm going to go ahead and put in my MAC Ravishing, my number 12 from YSL, my NARS Tundra, my ColourPop Ultra Blot Lip, and my Buxom Lip Gloss in Princess. Yes, in Princess. Um, this drawer is my primers. It's the Laura Mercier Primer in Eye Basics in Peach, my... Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Caffeine, and my three um, samples that I got from MAC, leave those in there. And this is my, I think I might need to get rid of my Urban Decay Brow Tamer, because it's way past its expiration date. Yep, it's time for it to go. But this was great. I used this to um, prep my eyebrows and keep them in place and then I would go in with my brow definer from ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown to fill um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the eyebrow pencil 
before I do anything else. Um, on the top, I have my Rodan and Fields um, or Radiant Defense in Almond Number no. Five. I have my Becca Backlight Primer. I feel like I went through this a lot faster than I thought I would, but I actually enjoy this primer a lot. Um, I have my makeup. Oops, sorry, dropped the cap. I have my Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation, which I will be rocking as soon as I finish up my Fenty um, Prime, my Fenty Pro Filter in number 400, which I mix with the Radiant Defense. As you guys can see from the bottle, I am down here, so I am almost at the very, very end of the Fenty Pro Filter. I like this. I first got this color when it first came out. Um, since then, I've gotten like, I don't think it was the right color for me, um, but that's okay. It's almost gone. I mix it in with the other colors and it looks not so orangey to me, um, but it's good to have. Okay, so then my next shade, I also got a um, sample of the Cover FX, um, what is this? I think, I think it's like the Water Cloud, the new primer that they have, like the Water Cloud primer. <laughs> That's good. Um, I tried that. I like that. So I have the NARS Audacious Mascara in Black Moon. I also have the Superhero, the It's Superhero Mascara. Loved that. Um, I'm using the Dior... Um, Dior Show Maximizer 3D Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primer. Love that. I use it with the Pat McGrath brush. I like it that way. Um, as you guys can see, that's the brush I'm using. I have the Marc Jacobs. What is this? The Remarkable. No, it's not Remarkable. It's the Highliner Matte Gel in mist me it's like a lavender i use that in my waterline to just brighten it up a little bit and then i use the mac costa riche um eye coal um i think that's it oh i have my makeup forever aqua xl in the color l20 that i use as well for eyeliner um that should sum it up all right let's go ahead and put her over here so I think you guys have seen everything. That was fast. You guys came. You saw all the stuff I'll be using. Um, hopefully that was a good one or a good week. We'll let you know what I think of all the stuff when I use them. All right. Have a good day. Bye.